so look like, powerful. He should look like Blob looks like. Yes, you know? it, dude, most X-Men should look that yeah, way. Yeah, true, fair, true. Like. No one would work out. You have mutant powers. How do you even train your muscles if you can lift the car? You got the Pikachu real yeah, quick before yeah, we hop right. into That Pikachu is so He's adorable. Cute, yeah. Anyway, game one, we have the Brothers Martin stepping up and fighting for uh, however many times we've seen them in the Smash 4 arena. And, yep. uh, you know, it usually goes in the favor of Mars, but you never know what Pug West has up his, up his sleeve. And he is playing hot right now, uh, beating Rappi in the last set, 3-1. to one. Yeah, and you can tell, man, he's looking pretty hot right now. Already putting the... Putting the work to Mars, get a quick 53. Not quite getting that back air that he wanted. And that's the thing you're gonna see uh, between these two brothers so much, is so many power shields and so many like recognitions of very familiar situations, you know, especially yep. getting up the ledge where you know options are limited. They know what the other one's looking for a lot. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, goes for the rising fair, can't find it. I thought he was gonna look for his air maybe, so yeah. good recognition from Pug, he knows a little better than me. Goes for the jab, F tilt. All right, Mars going for that eh, pretty safe down smash. Good but grab from Pug, too. Let's see what his follow up is. Gets an up tilt. This is there. Basic. Ooh. Another. Oh my god, the pixels away right, from right. hitting with that nair. Just scary. Nice walk forward, too. That's something, you know, you see at higher levels and not so much at lower levels. It's just right. a good thing to like, try to bait an opponent's defensive option. Nice defensive gear, too. Sending Mars all the way up to the right side. Wow, waited the spot dodge. Gets the up throw, but it's not going to be enough. Some good DI. Oh my god. Pug with such a big lead and he's still so afraid in the shield. Okay, nice retaliation. He's like, get that whip out of here. He yeah. just smacked him right in the face with the sword. Okay. Oh, oh. nice defensive grab. I think that would have been it for Mars. A nice shot for Mars. Not hitting any buttons that situation. So scary, but Pug with a falling up air. Really solid stuff. Pug West going up in the first stock. Yep, Mars quick quick retaliation with the Zare off of the platform, but wasn't able to connect it into anything. He's kind of in a rough spot. He's going to need like a solid back air to seal the deal on Pug's first stock. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the roll on with that paralyzer. Pug just doing a good job racking up the damage right now. Looking for that dancing blade. Mars, you know, with a little bit of a flub right there, and Pug West is going to take advantage of it. Uh, nothing yet. Mars looking for anything. To get it started, a forward smash is going to do it. Beating out that grab, actually, <laughs> and getting a taunt. That was a hard read. That was crazy. Yeah, jab one, runaway uh -oh. pivot F smash. Crazy stuff. Uh oh, paralyzes the wrong way. Yeah, it's the second uh, miss input he's had. Mars has had throwing a move yeah. the wrong way. Oh, okay, okay. Good recognition. This should be the game right here. Yes. Wow. Good job from Pug West. Uh, getting the shield break and you know throwing it out there again and just taking game one. Yep. Crazy, crazy stuff, man. I would not, was not expecting that shield breaker. Well, once I heard it, I said that's gonna be it. There's it's gotta be it. Look at we go, get, what's dude. the next one? Uh, Doc and DK. I'd like to see up there eventually. <laughs> They're both so good. Oh, but these guys—they've played too much. We—they're already on the next game. He'll, he'll queue it up on the other. Like you right, 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 yeah. Anyway, yeah. anyway it's going to be Dreamland, uh, but the way Pug West has been killing uh, vertically uh, lately with the up airs and like mm -hmm. comboing up, like laddering people weirdly with uh, Marth a little bit. Look at that down tilt, too. He's been doing that a lot. Yeah. Getting a lot of, getting a lot of uh, and, I mean, I've seen him play a lot. I haven't seen a lot of down tilt before today, but I like it. It's a nice new addition. Oh, interesting roll. Marth's actually getting the grab for that. Keeping it pretty even. And Mars applying the pressure right at the ledge. See what he can do with it. Nice power shoots from both the brothers right now. A bear is looking for the follow up. Can't find it. Nice maneuvering by Pug. Dancing blade. Can't find anything. Wow, the jab out of the grab. Very different situation considering okay. what could have happened. I like that Mars went with the dash attack there. He didn't want to yeah. risk it with a grab because if Pug moved around it, he probably would have lost the stock. Either forward smash or something, but. Mars zoning out a little bit, looking for his air, throwing out a down smash, nice recognition, catching that air dodge at him with the back air. Look for the trump, nice evasion for Pug though, but that's a great reaction. Turn around up B, wow, the DI was great, but it didn't matter. All right, Mars at 75%, Pug trying to get something going. The jabs and the grabs. Ooh. 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 Oh, nice paralyzer too, okay, there you go. That's the Mars that we're used to seeing, a little yep. sign of light from him. I like that combo, 22%, dash attack. All right, gets it. I, I like that shield breaker. Just mm -hmm. sort of change the uh, situation, get out of there. I love these down tilts from Pug, too. The way he low profiles and throws out, it's a really big hitbox. That yep. should be a forward smash. Ah, not a tipper, though, so, you know, Mars going to hold on to that stock. Oh. Deer suit This is a really scary Pug, too, actually. 55, that's like Primo getting comboed on the stage territory, and Mars has some good range. Oh, nice. Oh, and a oh, forward wow. smash again. Man, these landings forward smash is like crazy. Yeah. Oh, and a back air? Really, really good for Mars. That was smooth. I like the, I like the way Mars. 
uh, took that game via you know his uh, air dodge reads, yep. his combos, and his edge guarding was Definitely. really really good. Yeah, that up B, that pivot up B, changed the whole pace of the set. I mm -hmm. think. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Let's see what else we got? Oh, the pack is so good. Gotta love the pack. The pack man. is amazing. Yep. Guys, buy these. Like they're so. I'm like really thinking about it. There's a Falcon I might buy. My buddy's birthday's coming up. He's a huge Falcon fan. The Wolverine's nice. The sheep. Wait. Green sheep. Which one of them? Which uh, one of them? It's gotta be Pug, right? Pug was saying, man, his Sheik does better than his mark sometimes, but after that game one, I don't know. I feel like you could just make some adjustments, uh, yeah, maybe play like, like a little closer to that. Pug looked like unstoppable game one. That was yeah. awesome. It was just a good response from Mars. Like, I don't think you Right, should, you know. and a solid counter pick in Dreamland. Well, I, here's the thing, right? Their game three, well, down tilt. Mars has been down tilting a lot today, which yeah. is really strange. Like, it's just not a good option, but it's making it work a little bit I feel more. like he is a, a documented hater of that move, if I remember <laughs> correctly. He's showing it a lot of love if he hates it. You yeah. Know? He's out there a lot. But uh, honestly, Pug Sheik's doing pretty good. He just spot dodged in the forward smash. Yeah. It's the most Marth Sheik thing <laughs> yeah, I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Agreed, for sure. And the crawl? Oh my god, why is this working? I mean, bless his heart, but. He's, it's a low profiling, man. He's like found a new meaning of life with that low profiling. Yep. As it, what was they up tilt too? Okay. No, oh, just oh doesn't quite connect. <laughs> yeah, right. right there. <laughs> after, what, after that run. Nice in the air to get out of that. Good defensive option. Let's see what Mars can do. Because this is where like the matchup kind of works out. Like it's okay for Zero Suit. Like if she gets a rogue up air or an air, yeah, can start taking stocks from Sheik. I quick. think I've talked a lot about this. You kind of just concede to taking 100, percent and then it's even. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice little exchange with that little yep. boxing match going on. Exchange between uh, perfect shields and grabs. Ooh, rolling out of the situation. Well, it could have been a bouncing fish, I think, but Mars a little too high. Grenade. It's a grenade out and gets a needle. Needles, yeah, all the projectiles. Good edge guarding for Pug so far. Yep. Looking for the up tilt of bouncing fish. There's Mars getting the fair though. Ooh. Paralyzer, that's gonna be a spike right there. And that's the painted cheek, right? 160% on Zero Suit and just could not clean up the stock. So there we go. Now we have a reverse situation with Mars is gonna be. Oh, goes for I guess just a grab release. At that percent, you actually probably gonna gone for Ooh, it. Oh okay. nice. Run up up smash. I'm telling Sour you, spot is, too. This is a mark looking cheek right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, run up up. He gets a crouch or a, a crawl though. Like that's a big difference. Like with his Marth, he was just doing a really good job moving and down tilting and this one he can just move while he's yep. crouching so it's actually working out really nice uh oh uh oh this is really bad couple up airs up B and we'll be seeing you that's it and uh you know <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's uh, it yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it yeah, that's as a matter of fact it that's it and uh it just really is it oh can we get doc all right well, there's the falcon, oh, falcon yeah, the Falcon's nice. douglas j falcon <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, where is he? Where is he at? Doc. There, of dude, look at that man Doc, himself. man. That Doc is so sick. Speaking of sick, wait, uh, is that, was that a joke? What? Doc no. is sick? He's healthy. He's a, right, okay. <laughs> Game three? Is that where we're at? I believe this is four. Can't count. Wait, Mars is up two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. You're right. Anyway, yeah, three wins. <laughs> right, right. There we go. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> Mars said, uh, He's going to stay, obviously. He's doing good, but Pug decided to switch back to Marth on Town City. And, uh, uh, oh, uh, is he dead? Uh, no, he's, no, he's, he's, he's going to live, but man, uh, if that would be a connected, definitely would be oh. on Pug. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, boy. There goes the platform trying to shoot your Marth. <laughs> Could not find him. Instead, he strings together one straight hit of forward air into two hits of forward air. So. Yeah, I don't know. Man. It's just already looking pretty good for Pug West. Yeah, both these guys, I mean, 76 78, really close game right now. Both sitting center stage trying to fight out for the next hit in neutral. Let's see what the combo in the. Uh oh. Couldn't Just punish that. Was, is that a bait? Maybe. Nice oh. forward air. Rising forward air, too. Carrying Pug all the way up the stage. It's a, what? Why? Why? Still at his jump. Looking like light right now. Like yeah, the decision yeah. making is just. Oh, doesn't get the solid hit of forward air and gets sharp from Dolphin Slash. What is this game? He's going up for a lot of those forward airs. I'd like to see them be back airs. You know, yeah. just snap and kick. One solid kick and just taking them out. But you know, Pug's going to be looking for that, so. Oh, okay, looking air. for the Zare kill, can't find it. Oh, Ooh, Paralyzer gets a perfect shield on it, though. There again, looking for a Zare, he just can't find it, man. Pug just doing a great job holding on to the stock. Oh, he does the neutral get up, and Mars can't catch it, though. Pug turning it into his favor, what? really well played. That was really well played by Pug, man. There's so many times that he could have easily lost the stock. Mars walking up and just grabbing yeah. it up there. Okay, talk about responses, man. Yeah, I think it was all on that flip kick. Once he bounced off of Pug, off the regular get up, it was a rough spot to be in for Mars. And now, pretty even game. Pug trying to put the pressure on with the dancing blades, but 
Mars is trying to zare him out. I like that Mars was held shield there too. I like that he didn't do anything. He didn't want to get caught. Like his pug cut it short and was doing like a weird timing with it, which is really good by him. So I like the way Mars held onto it. He didn't want to risk anything. There goes a whip grab though. That's gonna get punished for sure. Dancing blade by Pug. Great job too. He's applying pressure. I like this. Nice turnaround grab too. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> He's gotta fall through that in air dodge for sure. Nice low profile again, but gets grabbed. Not really a lot you can do when you're stuck in that crouch animation. See, again, man, those I'm telling you, those low-profile down tilts are so nice for Pug. It's so smart. Yeah. I feel like he hasn't used them like that before. It's been a while since I've seen him do it, at least. Interesting trade, but pretty good for Pug. Nice Dolphin Slash. Yeah, that was risky as hell, though, because if Mars shielded that and just did a down smash, it would have been over, dude. Down smash and a flip kick or a forward smash or an up -y, like a lot of things that Zero Zero could have done there. So very risky, but Pug making it work. I like the idea there, but the timing is just a little off. Interesting trade again. Pug going to go for the, not for the up throw yet, but... Definitely something to watch out yes. for soon. Yeah, especially now. I got that forward, so it's 141. It's going to be a couple fumbles and an up throw. That's it. We'll be seeing it. Yep. Woo, called that one early. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> I was feeling confident, though. I felt no, good. Man, I set you up. It's good. We got it worked out. Especially on Town and City. That's going to be it. Crazy, man. It's that so far. I mean, Pug going the Sheik looked really strong early, and then it lost. But now, I mean, regardless of Sheik or not, we were in game five. Here they go. Got to imagine triplats are off the table now. Yeah, yeah I, think I like Town and City. I think Town and City <laughs> is a good choice for Mars. No, Pug oh. is a, a big proponent of a ban triplats versus CSS. So. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Running up and grabbing Pug, trying to set the tempo of this match very quickly. Wow, and I think he is 26% with all these tilts. But oh wow, this is a grab off of that nair. What yeah, the heck? And uh, well, this is good. I mean, Mars knows. Yeah, Pug knows Dancing Blade really well. You know Mars does, too. Like yep. Just DIing through it. Okay, running up, up smash, too. Pug with the good punishes. I mean, just racking up all this damage on Mars. Nice spacing with that forward tilt, too. Just barely. He's just edging out these moves really barely. Is. It's so nice. The spacing on, it was on the pivot tilt, too. Like, he, he had the spacing down pat. But Mars, Mars yeah. got the center stage now. Interesting to see what he does with it. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that launched really high, actually. Mars already at 101. But you know, I mean, a falling up air with zero suit is going to be really good. Or an air. Yep. Nice. That grab. was really good shield work. I like that. He put he put a little bit of pressure on the shield, just walked up and grabbed right <laughs> after. Him. So nice. Oh, no. That missed that. Grab. So that's an early stock for Pug in a really good situation for him to be in. Only sitting at 26%, 31. But hang on one second. Let's see if Mars can convert good platforms. this. Oh, okay. He only gets one hit of it. Pug does get 8% in a punish yep. up air. Misses it, but... Another chance, potentially. He's Down looking smash. for it. Nair, up air, up B. He pulled the trigger, man. Again, he can't get the last launching hit. He just can't find it. And Pug getting a second lease of life on this first stock. And he's making it count 42% and counting. That's going to be running. Uh, OK, I don't know what these guys are doing right yep. now. They're <laughs> just pressing some option. buttons. Uh, but some of them working out, some of them not. Definitely. 56% on Mars. That was, man, that hair, that spot dodge was late, but it worked out. Like, yeah. it's just, I'm just, you know, Pug is spacing right now. It's just been amazing. Oh, he gets the stage control. And this nice is where bear. Pug takes over. We talked about it with Raffi. Uh oh. Okay, great down tilt from Pug. He's going to keep up the pressure, too. 88%. Nice, perfect shield to a forward and smash. That's it. going to be it. Really well played by Pug. Wow. I like the ledge control that he had there, especially yeah. in game five. He did such a good job just controlling the ledge and uh, really making it count. His perfect shields were huge, too, towards the end. Like, that was really good. Yeah, he looked firmly in the driver's seat. After yeah. the, especially after the like, second down tilt, it looked really, really rough mm -hmm. for Mars there. Yeah, you know, uh, GG's well played.